what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and today I wanted to talk to you about studying and mental health now believe me, it is not an easy thing what most of you don't know, is I've been studying my undergraduate degree for 7 years and that's due to my mental health I've had to defer, I've been in hospital, I fell behind because my medication has changed and honestly it does it, it gets to me that it's taken me so long. I'm planning on graduating in the summer 2024, but I'm a lot better mentally this year than I was last year. Mentally, I'm in it for the end goal of getting a good degree. So my struggles with studying and having mental health issues have been I've been hospitalised. I deferred in March because I'd fallen behind because of my mental health and being in hospital. Last year I had to defer because I was in hospital. It's not been an easy ride. To anyone who does, does struggle with mental illness, it's to university, college, school, whatever you're doing. My best advice is make notes. That's all my notes for this semester. And I've only missed two classes. If you struggle with going into classes, ask if they can be recorded for you or, put, or lots and live on Zoom. I just wanted to add, I'm filming on my vlogging camera, so quality different. I just wanted to say that Zoom is a really incredible resource for studying and not having to leave your home if you don't feel capable of that. I remember the year after COVID, well, it was also a year of COVID, but not the first year. So 2021, I did my degree. I had to fit in the end, I didn't finish it. That was done by Zoom and it helped my anxiety. I'm on medication for my anxiety now. I was then, but I wasn't taking it because I was being bullied for taking my medication. Now I take clonazepam twice a day, once at lunchtime and once at night. My top tips for learning anywhere is take notes, voice record it on your phone or get a voice recorder. It can be stressful learning more dealing with mental illness. It can be especially hard if you're going through medication change. Now I've, I've been studying while I had a medication change from quetiapine to haloperidol. It wasn't a dramatic change but it did make me stop going to lectures or watching lectures should I say. I fell down the stairs yesterday and I really messed up my ankle. So I'm going to stand on my left leg and just rest my right leg because my knee is hurting and my ankle is hurting. I think I've twisted my ankle. I haven't done that for years. <laughs> but I fell on the stairs, which is just embarrassing. I want to say this. It is so possible to study with mental illness. I didn't think I was going to pass my degree. When I first, because I moved to uni, I started off at Central Lancashire Uni. I was there for two years, then I dropped out and started again at West London Uni. And now I'm studying at Met Film School. So getting this degree, means the world to me and I'm determined to graduate. Set yourself little goals and you'll get there. But most importantly take care of your mental health. If you need to defer a year or three years you can do it which is what I've learned and there's nothing to be ashamed about when you have to defer. You put in your mental health first. Your health is the most important thing. Thanks for watching this video I hope it helps and gives you a bit more insight into my life a bit. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.